Today, a full face of Maybelline. I've used this Maybelline BB cream for many, many years, and I've used their um, brow pencil for four or five years now. They repackaged it. But I've never, ever done an entire full face of Maybelline, and let me tell you, I'm impressed. And this is the third day I've done it. So I didn't just wing it today. This is the third day this week I've done a full face of Maybelline. And it is so pretty and so affordable. And so many of the products really surprised me. So stay tuned as I put on everything. And there's even a little debacle. So you can always skip to the end if you want to skip over the debacle. And if you are here for mature beauty, if you are over 35, hello, dearie, you are becoming mature. If you are over 45, you're definitely into mature skin realm. And if you are post-menopause like me, you already know. I don't even have to tell you. So subscribe. Please subscribe if you want more mature beauty content here on YouTube because it lets the algorithm know that you are here for mature beauty and they'll pump other great mature beauty content creators into your feed. And that's what we all want. This is the best community on any of my platforms. We are close here. We share personal things. And I am really excited for 2023 because I will let you know what I'm working on to create an even closer, tighter community. But I love my mature beauty community here. There's no one better, and um, I'm happy you're here. So stay tuned. If you want drugstore makeup that looks high-end, Maybelline version. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Michelle Spieler. I'm an over 25-year professional makeup artist. I've come from the Hollywood industry, and I've done everything under the sun, including learning how to deal with a maturing face. I am 55, and it is not easy so my passion is to teach women. Because of that, I developed something called the Mature Makeup Masterclass. It's a series of over 20 videos on mature technique. I priced it very low, $57 for over 20 videos that you have access to forever. So that is just kind of my love gift to everyone. The only reason I couldn't make it free is because I do have to recap my time and I do pay the platform to host my videos. Um, so this is why, but I've kept it low because I want everyone to have access to it. Okay, some orders of business before we get started on Maybelline. I'm so excited to do a whole face of Maybelline. I've never done an entire face of Maybelline. I might throw a couple other little brands in there, just a couple, but mostly it's going to be all Maybelline. My lips feel very dry. So um, if you love clean beauty, you have to check out Alpen Beauty. Okay. Alpen Beauty is a clean beauty brand. They're out of Montana or Idaho. I think one, well, I don't remember. One of those beautiful states where it's absolutely gorgeous. And um, they sent me this, um, but it's a plumping lip balm that doesn't feel weird or tingly. I love it. They have great skincare too, if you're looking for clean beauty. Um, another thing I want to discuss is, okay, let's talk about my eyebrows real quick because this is my good eyebrow. It's longer and it's higher. This eyebrow looks pretty good right now, right? I'm going to show you why. But normally this one slants. So if you look at my face and if you go look at other videos, you'll kind of see I try to even them out. But when I don't have any makeup on, my brows very much do this. And this one is shorter and it, it's lower, okay? But the, it looks pretty darn even, pretty darn even. I started using this. Oh my gosh. Um, I bought it with my own money. It's not cheap. It was over $300. Um, you know, you have to put this conductive gel on it so you don't hurt, hurt your face. But it's this stem. And I'll literally just hold it there for a beep. And then I might like go up and then I'll hold it there for a beep and then I'll go up and I'll do my whole face, but I really concentrate on this side and it really lifts. And it's better than like new face. I use new, new face off and on for years and I just, 
it was such a commitment. It's like going to the gym. So this is, it's, it's like a gym for your face, but you have to use it every day or at least on days where you want to see lift. Um, and will I see lift at the end of the day? Um, I don't, I haven't paid much attention, but I will tell you when I've checked in midpoint in the day, the brow is still lifted. Um, and it only takes a few minutes. So I just had to talk about that because if there's anyone out there who is just like wanting a little bit of a lift for maybe, I don't know, a special holiday party or a reunion or just a big holiday gathering, uh, this is really, <laughs> it's really impressive. My friend Ann told me about it over on TikTok. She's also here on YouTube. And then she pointed me to Amy. I'll, I'll get a link for you because um, I'm not an affiliate. I don't have a code for you. It's not cheap. I think it was over $300. But I just can't believe how well it works. I can't believe it. Another thing that you can do also real quickly is you can get one of these jade or even rose quartz rollers. I like to keep mine in a refrigerator because even though it's cold by nature, it makes it more cold. And if you just quickly roll from the inner face to the outer face, you really get rid of all that lymph fluid that builds up when we sleep and you move that lymph fluid away from the eye and it only takes like a minute. I mean, you can do your whole face. Ideally, you know, you wanna roll always outwards and then you wanna roll down. You always wanna move the lymph down to the heart. Uh, but you can get these for about 10 bucks. You can even find them at check stands in different various stores. Again, it, if you put it in the refrigerator, it really depuffs quickly. It's so easy. Look at this. I'm not pushing hard. You're just moving the lymph away from the eyes to depuff. It's not going to be a miracle. It's not going to make you look 20 again. But let me tell you, this thing works and they're about 10 bucks. So if you don't have one of these, why? It's like a $10 depuffer every morning of your life, okay? Uh, next up, I wanted to tell you that my big Korean skincare makeup, I mean, um, YouTube is coming up. I think I'll do it next Saturday. I've always shared with you different Korean skincare that I absolutely love that you can get on um, yesstyle.com or Stylevana or Amazon. I share with you different SPFs that I love and they just sent me, this is all gifted. I got to pick it out though. They gave me a $300 credit and I just got to pick out whatever I wanted, but I have some Beauty of Joseon and I have Innisfree and I have, this is the one I'm most excited about, the um, SK2. Um, that's a little trial kit you can get. And then I have the SK1. It's, I, I threw some expensive stuff in there um, because I wanted to try it because I, I usually do very, very affordable um, skincare. So we'll have a mix of affordable and not affordable, okay? And then lastly, I want to show you a very excellent sunscreen I've been using. Um, and this was sent to me also by Good Molecules. Good Molecules is at Ulta or... I don't know if it's at Target, but I know it's at Ulta, or you can just go to goodmolecules.com. This is their Sheer Mineral SPF 30, and I love it. It it doesn't give you any um, <clears throat> it doesn't give you any white cast. It's really sheer. It soaks in immediately. It feels like skincare. I absolutely love this, and I think it's about twelve to fifteen dollars. Really affordable for an excellent mineral sunscreen. I'm kind of back on minerals, y'all. Kind of back on mineral sunscreens. I just find with a physical, I'm sorry, with a chemical sunscreen, so many of them put silicone or hide silicone in there just for that beautiful slip. But then your makeup doesn't want to lay nicely on top of it. So I'm getting really frustrated with some um, chemical sunscreen. So I'm back to, to mineral and it's working quite well. Okay, you know what time it is. Every good makeup starts with Diet Dr. Pepper. I will die on that hill. If anyone out there has a connection with, with Dr. Pepper, send them my way. I would love for them to sponsor. <laughs> okay, here's some exciting news. 
all of the products today from Maybelline, I bought everything myself, all of it with my own money, except, hold please, the eye pencils. Now, I have used the, this Maybelline eye pencil, I mean eyebrow pencil for four years. It's different packaging. My friend Karen Eastman, she's the one who said, oh, it's different packaging now, and I couldn't find blonde. Blonde was sold out everywhere. Every time I went to the store, it was sold out. It was sold out on Amazon. Turns out, I think I like the soft brown better for my brows because I have kind of a deeper eyebrow. So Maybelline sent me these because of a project I can't talk about right now, but it's a, an exciting project that I'll tell you about in the future. So in order to work with their eyebrow pencils, I wanted to be true to them and I wanted to do my entire face in Maybelline. You know, I already have, I've used this for six, seven years. My sister loves it. I've turned tons of friends and family onto this. Um, I love this product. So I already had this, but everything else I'm using today is a brand spanking new to me. And I gotta tell you, it's impressive. I've worn it now two full days. And when I took it off late at night, 11 o'clock at night, my makeup still looked really pretty. And that's hard to find with drugstore. Drugstore doesn't always have the long wearing um, ability that the more luxury products do. And um, I know that we're paying for less expensive packaging with drugstore, but very oftentimes it just does not look the same after eight or nine hours that the high end does, okay? But this did, all of this today. I was so impressed. So we're going to start with our BB cream. Now the BB cream has an SPF of 30, but you already know you want two full finger le lengths of SPF for your whole face and neck. And two finger lengths of this is way too much. So you have to use your SPF separately. You just have to. You have to get into the habit of using SPF as a single layer. I understand wanting to kill two birds with one stone. I do. I get that women are busy and they want to be fast and easy. But SPF is just too important. And I just don't think that we need to skimp on that step. Oh my gosh. This feels so good going over that good molecules mineral sunscreen that I put on probably over 10 minutes ago. I also just shaved my face over Thanksgiving weekend using a derma flash. I should talk about that another time. Maybe I'll talk about that in my Korean skincare video. Okay. So People are always like, why do you pat it on? I don't know. I just do. I pat it on. It's just, it feels natural to me to pat it on. Okay, let's see. We're going to get my stands out sponge. Because I'm getting that thing happening. I'm getting that thing happening. And I'm telling you. It happens all right here. Doesn't matter what sunscreen, what makeup. I could use the highest end makeup. I could use really expensive sunscreen. It doesn't matter the combination. It Look, it's all rubbing off of me. Ugh. So frustrating. This happened with, um, what did it happen with? Was it Well People that I used? Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. It happened with the True Botanicals the other day when I did my Demi video. Yeah, it's all sloughing off my face and this didn't happen the last two days. <sighs> so frustrating. Look at this. Can you see this? I'm shedding in like, I'm just shedding like crazy. 
it's weird because the last couple days, I'm gonna have to check that good molecules because it went on. Oh, and I never shed down here and I'm shedding everywhere. Okay, so part of the reason I'm shedding is this happens when I start to use retinol or tretinoin acid, okay? Now, the average woman <clears throat> is not on camera every day. The average woman is not a professional makeup artist this close to people's faces. This is why I have never been able in all of my career to stick with tretinoin or retin-A because I shed and that is not pretty close up. Then I started doing content creation for TikTok and Instagram and right here on YouTube. And I need my makeup to go on pretty because if my makeup doesn't go on pretty, how can I teach you how to have pretty makeup and pretty skin if it's not working on me, right? And the reason I'm not cutting this video and starting all over is because this is just real life. This is just real life. Oh, look at it. it's all in my hair. Oh my gosh. What a freaking mess. So then I do this and I'm sloughing it away. And then it's like, well, how much is even still on my face? I don't know. I'm going to take a clean brush. So tell me in comments if this happens to any of you, but this only happens when I use retinol or retin-A, okay? And it's, and I even exfoliated in the shower. I even exfoliated, I have a beautiful, it's like a micro grit exfoliating cleanser by Eminence and I absolutely love it. And I really polished my face, especially around this area. I really polished my face everywhere. I shaved so I don't have any facial hair and this is still happening. And it's the, it, I'm telling you, it's the Retin-A. It's not the sunscreen. It's not the makeup. I've used this makeup a bunch. Okay, so do you know the Perfector, the 4-in-1? This is compared to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, which in 2021, the Hollywood Flawless Filter was one of my top products of the whole year. I absolutely loved it. I even loved it at the beginning of this year, but then I slowly started getting away from it. I don't know why, I'm not sure. It's not that I didn't like it anymore. Okay, so you click it, okay? And then you just put it anywhere. We're gonna really make it kind of obvious, okay? We're gonna put it anywhere where we want, like a beautiful, sheen look at that that is so pretty oh my gosh i am just shedding on my chin i'm so sorry i'm so sorry everyone okay I go up here a little. Now I'm going to press it in with my stands out sponge. I heard from the um, contact person with stands out. The reason they they come kind of white and they turn yellow over time, she said it's because they don't put preservatives in it. So as you use makeup with it, it just starts to become um, it starts to become more dark and a little more dark and discolored, but there's nothing wrong with it. It just does not have preservatives. Okay. All right. I think that looks beautiful. You would never know that I was shedding like a snake, would you? You would never know that. Okay, we are going to, this is where we're going to go in. I have to use my MAC paint pot. I just have to use my MAC paint pot. I'm so sorry, but I have not found anything from drugstore that compares to MAC paint pot. So I just put it on the eyelid and a little bit in the crease. 
I also have to talk about my upcoming surgery. We gotta talk about that. Is that something you guys even wanna hear about? Do you even wanna hear about my surgery? I don't wanna bore anyone with the details if no one wants to hear about it. And I totally respect if you don't wanna hear about it. Um, but what I'm doing is so, what I'm doing is so natural that I'm gonna come back and a lot of you will be like, you, you spent all that money for that? You didn't have anything done. That's how natural I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go so natural that people won't really know. Okay. So here we go. We are going to do this gorgeous brow pencil. So what I like to do for mature brows is I like to put in the top of the peak. Did you see how I did that? Put in the top of your peak. Then with little, see, look how little that pencil is. So with little hair strokes, We're gonna put little hairs in our tail. Okay, now I'm gonna do this side. Now I have a different, I have a different shaped brow. This one's not as high, so I have to kind of go a little bit higher with my arch. And then we're gonna do little brush strokes and I bring them out a little beyond my brow because remember this brow is longer than this brow so I try to make this brow look a little bit longer okay then we're gonna go in oh my gosh just I am just shutting I am so sorry everyone you know what if a 25 year old pro can't make her makeup look pretty using Retin-A. I hope that makes you feel better about yourself. And like I said, I just used a full face of Maybelline twice this week. Everything I'm doing right now, I did already twice this week and my skin was gorgeous, exceptional. None of this was happening. So I have to believe it's either too many nights in a row of retinaldehyde or it could be the sunscreen. I don't think so though. I don't remember. Well, we'll look at it in a minute. Okay. So now we're going to go into the body of the brow. Okay. And you can see this brow falls short. This brow matches up, but this brow is a little bit over this way. So I like to do little hair strokes and that's what makes this pencil so unique is it can make little tiny hair strokes. I love this pencil, everyone. I love this pencil. I have used it for so many years and I know I've told a bunch of you that I don't really love drugstore pencils because I've tried them all. I still don't love blonde drugstore pencils, but I've found beautiful brunette. So if you're a brunette and you're like, no, I have a great pencil. Yeah, they make great pencils for brunettes in the drugstore. They do not make great blonde pencils, in my opinion. Now you might disagree with me, that's okay. But when I'm comparing it to Anastasia and Benefit, those they make the two most beautiful blondes in the world. Nobody does blonde brows better than Anastasia. I don't care what anyone says. The Maybelline blonde is nice, but I found this dark, this, um, sorry, soft brown looked a little bit better. Okay. So there we go. I love it. I'm going to just do a little bit more. Okay, and everything, here's what I like about Maybelline also, almost everything they have is 10 bucks. 10 bucks, 10 bucks, 10 bucks. This is like 7.99, this is like 10 bucks. 
Some things are cheaper. The mascara is 10 bucks. The sky high was all the rage on TikTok like two years ago, a year and a half ago. I never got it because I was like, eh, it's not really for me. Okay, time for eyeshadow. I bought this little city mini palette because I felt like those are really safe colors for most women. And I'm going to show you how I use it. I really like them. So I, let's see. Okay, so I start with this color here. I don't even know what it's called, but these shadows go on so buttery. Let me tell you, this is one of the most things I was surprised about by Maybelline. I couldn't believe how soft and pretty these shadows went on. And I feel like they blend themselves Whereas oftentimes with higher end, you're dealing with more pigment. That's why they're more expensive. They have more color, more pigment built into the shadow, which can make it a little bit trickier to blend. I feel like the, the Maybelline is very, very easy. I'm going to go in with this little bone color and I'm going to go right up here into the brow bone just to, and it, these are all matte. There's no frost. I did not want frost. We are going shimmer free today, especially because I have that beautiful four in one perfector on. And so we're going to go matte on the eyes. Okay. And then you're not going to believe how easy this is. Then I'm going to take <clears throat> the crease brush. I'm gonna take this little crease brush here and I'm gonna go in with this soft medium brown. It's almost like a rosy, kind of a rosy, I mean, look at that. That just literally blends right in. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was shocked. I was really, pleasantly surprised. Now, you know, I've used the L'Oreal shadows and L'Oreal makes beautiful eye shadows. L'Oreal is also owned by the same company that owns Lancome. So no surprise that they have an exceptional drugstore eye shadow, but I was not expecting to like the Maybelline so much. And I really do. Now I'm going to keep it kind of up here because I'll show you what I'm gonna do in a minute, but I think that's so pretty. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cheat, um, cause I'm not gonna do a lot of eyeliner today. I've been doing my eyeliner different and I really, really love it, but I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do Chanel in my waterline. I'm gonna tell you why I'm loving the Chanel. You know that the Gwen Stefani Give was my favorite pencil for the longest time, but for kicks and giggles, when I did my Chanel video, I thought, oh, let's, let's get the um, Chanel pencil and see how it is. What I love about the Chanel pencil is it goes on my waterline, it doesn't transfer, neither does the Give, okay? It stays in the upper waterline. But when I wash this off at night, it all comes off and I don't wake up with any of it in the morning. When I use the Give, I wash it off. I take micellar water. I go up in there. I mean, I'm really thorough about removing it. The next morning, I look like Johnny Depp from Pirates of the Caribbean, okay? I just, it's, a, it's messy. I don't know why it's so messy. It's excellent. I mean, I love it, but um, I've been using the... Chanel. Okay, now I'm going to take this new Maybelline pencil. I've never used this one. This I did not use this week. I bought this yesterday because I thought I really need a Maybelline pencil. So this is called, well, you know what? I don't know what this is called. It's called 
hyper easy and it's a retractable pencil and I got brown and look at how teeny tiny that is. So I don't know how this is gonna work, but we're gonna see. I'm just gonna go right I'm going right in the lash line and I'm kind of trying to stay as close to the lashes as I can. Now this is a sharper pencil lead. So it's, it's not soft, it's a hard pencil lead, but it's going on really nicely. It's going on really nicely and I'm gonna do this, you know, I like a wing. I, you know, I I do a wing because it makes me feel cute, but you do not have to do a wing. A wing does not work on every eye, I am aware. And some women just can't make a wing work. They've tried and that's okay. You don't have to wear a wing. I just love a wing. It makes me feel, I don't know, a little more Bridget Bardot <clears throat> and that's my jam, okay? So I think that looks great. I am going to do, okay, I bought their color corrector. Now I've never liked their um, Age Perfect, what is this called, Rewind? What is, yeah, Rewind, Age Perfect, Instant Age Per, uh, whatever, I've never liked these. I like this, I like the four-in-one perfector for this beautiful glow, but I have never liked their age perfect never but i'm gonna try it um for color corrector right here i bought honey which is a very peachy orange they call it their color corrector it says it on the label that's a terrible brush Maybe we'll try this. I don't like to use the big sponge applicator. Maybe I do need to use this one. <laughs> All right, maybe I do just, I won't, I just applied it with the sponge applicator, but I'm not gonna blend it with the sponge applicator. Okay, now, because it's orange, peachy orange, I'm just going where the dark color is. Now, when I do that, there's my dents, right? Because my eye is slipping back into my orbital bone as I age, but it's not, purple blue anymore. Oh my gosh, nothing is sticking to my skin today. I am so sorry. I, w I cannot even believe this is happening. I'll tell you what I might do at the very end. I might go wash my whole face on off and then try this on without sunscreen and see if it makes a difference so that you guys haven't suffered through this for nothing. But you know what? This is real life and this is what happens to women. You know, imagine if you have to get out of the door. Imagine if you have to get kids to school and you have to get to work and you're dealing with this nonsense of your whole face peeling off. You could see why so many women are just like, screw it. I'm not going to wear makeup anymore. Or those of us who are past menopause and our skin has got different needs or the fact that we're using Retin-A because we're told it's the best and we've seen women who have used it for decades and their skin looks crazy good. So we trust all the experts, but then this nonsense happens. It makes me nuts. It's why I've never stuck to it. Okay, I did buy a new concealer. This is Maybelline. 
and this is new to me also. So I bought this and this is the Fit Me and this is number 15 light. It's pretty, it's pretty peachy orangey. Um, there's someone in front of my house. So I think what I'm gonna do Does that look good on camera? Sorry, I know that drives you guys nuts when I hold the mirror. I just get so focused on doing my makeup and looking at it really, just so you know, I don't, I don't just breeze through anything. I really like analyze how it looks because if it's not a pretty formula, I'm not gonna talk to you about it. I'm not gonna waste your time. And this is what's so upsetting about today is I've already done this whole makeup two days in a row and it was so pretty and it was so pretty when I took it off late at night and today it's just a mess. It's an absolute mess. Hey, that concealer. That is not bad. Do you see that? That was like eleven ninety nine. Okay. Um, I want to smoke a little bit of this dark shadow in my outer crease. Oh my gosh. Well, isn't that pretty? I didn't do this the other day. I actually used my Demi in NV1, NV plus one. But wow, this is beautiful. And see, I'm just going in the, I'm not going past the pupil. I'm just going in the outer eye and I'm going over that pencil and it's looking, I like it. Do we like it? This is like $10. It's really nice. Okay, time for mascara. You know I never like to do mascara on camera because I think it's a big fat waste of time, but we're gonna do it. I'll tell you what I did not buy. I did not buy um, a Maybelline face powder. They had, they were completely sold out at not only Walgreens, but also um, where, Ulta. Okay. They had it in dark colors, but they did not have, um, any face powder. They had a really mattifying one, but you guys know me, I don't do mattifying. So I did not buy a Maybelline face powder, but to me, kind of powder is powder, right? Elf makes a great face powder. NYX makes a great face powder. Um, and then I have my favorites that I absolutely love. So, I really like this Sky High. Look at that. And I'm gonna tell you, I never like mascara the first couple times I use it, but by like the fourth or fifth time, I think maybe once a little bit of air gets in there. Ooh, look at that. Do you see that? No, I use lash serum. I use the Abaji lash, lash serum. I always have a link for that if you wanna do I have a Baji Lash Serum? I feel like I do. I feel like I have an Abaji Lash Serum link. I also noticed that the uh, website yesterday, um, Lovely Skin, they extended their Black Friday sale and they had the Obaji at 30% off. So instead of 120, I think they had it for like 96. 
and it's lasted me four months. I still have some left. I don't have to use it every day anymore because I've got the desired length. So then you just go into maintenance mode. But look at, look at this mascara. Sky high is right. How is the concealer looking? Um, it looks good. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, everyone, is I'm gonna work really, really hard on skincare and lasers and Retin-A, and I'm gonna try to get to the point where I really don't even have to wear skin tint. Because when I did my TCA peel in August, I honestly, I went about three weeks without any foundation. I didn't need it, my skin was beautiful. But one TCA peel is not enough. You have to do a series of three or four, and I just do not have the time. I don't, I do not have the time. I don't have the time for 10 days downtime, four times a year. I'm working for lots of brands right now over on TikTok. And then, you know, I really like to show up here twice a week for all of you. You know, Wednesday nights are my saint night and Saturdays are my traditional makeup. And I really enjoy being here and I don't want to take 10, 10 days downtime. Okay, so here's what we are going to do. We are going to powder the face. What do we think of the eyes? Cute, right? I feel like I'm looking a little patchy <sighs> because I've probably taken so much of my BB cream off. I'll tell you what, my daughter is a harsh critic. I'm gonna pick her up from school and she's gonna be like, what's wrong with your skin? which is sad because the last couple days that I wore a full face of Maybelline, she said, mom, you look good, you know? And that's, that was not solicited. Trust me, that child is rough on me. She is, <laughs> she is rough on me. Okay, I just noticed that I'm really red around my nose. And you guys know, I use my Demi for that normally, but we're, we're using Maybelline today, so. Do you guys have this brush? It's the Angie Hot and Flashy. It's BK Beauty A506, the Angie Hot and Flashy. They call it the Kitten Paw. Man, I love this. I love this brush. Okay, look. My redness is gone. Okay, love this blush. I cannot tell you how much I love this blush. The reason I had to powder my face, and mo I don't like to powder my face very often, but I had to powder my face because powder blends on powder. So um, I've been using this big floppy brush, and I'm gonna put this on a little bit lighter than what you guys are used to seeing me with. I usually like a lot of blush. And this, you almost can't go too dark. You have to really build it up. You almost can't go too dark. I like a little bit of blush up here, especially because I did not get their bronzer, so I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna use any bronzer today. I know I always talk about Physician's Formula bronzer, but I really don't like the smell. So many people are like, oh, it smells so good. And I kind of for a while thought it smelled good, but I don't know, I don't like it anymore. There's no fragrance in any of the uh, Maybelline. Okay, how cute is that? And then remember, we have this glow. So if you don't like glowy, you don't need this. But if you like glowy, look at that. Is that not so pretty? Look at that glow, but it, but it's, it's a healthy glow. Like it's not dewy. It's glowy, but it's not dewy. I love it. Okay, I think I may have saved the makeup. I don't think I have to take it all off. 
as long as no one looks at me. Oh, you should see my hairline. Oh my gosh. It's all in my hairline. Um, okay, is that everything? Yes. Okay, so we just have to do lips. Here's where I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'm going to do my ColourPop BFF, cause I'll tell you why. I have a Maybelline color. Even my lips are just, I have so many flakes on my lips, it's sloughing off. It's definitely the retinaldehyde. Cause I've gotten to the point where I use it every night. I've never been able to do that before but retinaldehyde is more gentle than retinol, but more strong and more effective. And this is what's happening to my face. So we're gonna push through it. Okay, so I wanna do that BFF first because it kind of colors in my lips on the warm side. And then we're gonna use the Gone Grige. I wanna show you how pretty pretty this color is by Maybelline. Do you see how mauve, that's a mauve nude. That is so hard to find a mauve nude. I bet it would look great with my M93 lipstick too, cause it's got that nice mauve to it. You see how it casts a little bit more of a shadow? Love it. Okay. Now I have the Maybelline vinyl inks and I think I've used this in a video before so I'm not gonna use it today. But the trick with these, if you've not had these before or maybe you had it and didn't like it, you have to shake this for a good 30 seconds. You have to really, really, really shake it because there's two different chambers in here. There is a pigment chamber and a gloss chamber. So you have to shake it super, super well. And then when you put it on, you cannot rub your lips together. You put it on the bottom lip, you put it on the top lip, and you let it air dry like this. Just try to look like a blow up doll. And then when it dries, it dries evenly, but with a beautiful shine to it. And it stays like that for hours. And I do love this, but I don't wanna use it today because I found a new favorite. This is their cream lipstick. This color is called Nude Lust. I did a short. It's just such a pretty nude. And someone said they looked at it the other day in the, the store and it seemed too warm. I mean, maybe it's a little tiny bit on the warm side, but when paired with the Gone Grige, this is so mauve -y. I find it really does a nice job of balancing it, making it more neutral, but you, you can decide. Also, you could just do Gone Grige on your mouth with this lifter gloss. This is the Maybelline Plumping Gloss. I love it. I love it. Okay. I'm gonna go let my hair down and let's see how it all looks. I'm also gonna get more crumbles off my face. Okay, I just went into the bathroom to start doing my hair and I had so much like makeup crumbles all in my hair from just the debacle. So I said, you know what? No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking like this all day. I have other videos to film. So I took these, um, Clio cleansing pads. Clio is a brand I talk about a lot. They send me tubing mascara that I love. Took two of these, took my entire face off, and this leaves your skin super wet and juicy. And I just kept patting it in, patting it in, really let it dry. Did not go in with SPF, because I'm not going outside today. This does have 30 in it, but you know, I don't believe that's enough put this back on, put the concealer back on, 
did not do this yet, have not done this yet, but I knew that this is absolutely gorgeous and I wanted to see the concealer without the debacle under it. So look at this. My skin looks like skin. There is not a crumble anywhere. There is nothing settling in pores. I look really plump and juicy and hydrated. I knew I wasn't crazy. Plus, I've used this formula for six, seven years now. Forever I've used this, so I knew it was gorgeous. And I've used it two days this week, full face of Maybelline, and I looked great, and I looked great at the end of the day. So there's something about this that doesn't mix well with this, because I did not use this the first two days under this, but I thought, oh, mineral sunscreen. I looked at the ingredients. It has zero silicones in it. In fact, it's clean. So if you're looking for clean, this is like, this is their, their everything that they have in it. And then they have more ingredients over here. Zero silicones, zero unclean ingredients. It's, it's a great sunscreen. I love it. I've used it a few times now. This was not the first day. I've used this a few times. I love it. But for some reason, these did not work together and I'm not sure why, but I also think it was my Retin-A skin, my, my retinaldehyde skin. I think it's just a combination of things. And what's so frustrating is, you know, as, a, as an over 25 year professional makeup artist, different concoctions just really backfire. And what if I had to go to a studio job this morning? What if I had to be on location for a TV show? What if I had an early morning commercial and I did all this and I knew my skin looked horrible? I knew that up close I looked chunky and, and flaky and, and discoloration and unevenness and blotch. That doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good. I mean, my face is my calling card when I show up to work. People look at my makeup and they're like, oh, okay, I feel safe in your hands. Um, but even if you were a nurse or uh, administrative assistant or a CEO or a real estate agent, we all want to look pretty close up. That's all we want. We want to look pretty close up. I don't do social media makeup. So it's so frustrating so frustrating and I know a lot of it has to do with me really sticking to retinaldehyde using it every night even though I know it's not giving me the best skin I know in the long run it will and I hate sticking it out I hate it because of that mess but this is absolutely beautiful okay I'll be back I'm gonna go do my hair all right I'm back and since I took my whole face off pretty much I did I left the eyes on but I decided, you saw how I looked in the first lip, I wanted to show you this. This is Cheeky, I think. Is this one Cheeky? <laughs> yeah, this is number 35 Cheeky. So it's just a really nice, um, kind of looks like Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. It's kind of a... Mm, Maybe a mauvey rose nude, kind of kind of a, a rosy nude, but maybe a little on the mauvey side. I really like it a lot. Um, and you can see it has that little bit of sheen to it, but I wanna put a gloss over it. I love the ice, it's my favorite color they make. Cause it's kind of cloudy, but it's kind of sheer. There we go, love it. It was very tempting to put blush, uh, bronzer on, but I didn't buy a Maybelline bronzer, and even though I cheated on a few things, I didn't wanna cheat on a bronzer, so I did not do bronzer, but you know, I wanted to grab my Bella. Um, but there it is, there it is. There is the look that I wore two days this week that I absolutely fell in love with, and this does not look like drugstore. This is very pretty. And I apologize that my skin was a mess. I apologize that the different combinations didn't work. But I just couldn't go out in public like that. Because remember, I like to look good close up. So 
Let me know if you've really pushed through the retin-A, tretinoid, retinol, if you've really pushed through it, if your skin stopped sloughing at one point, but then I, if I go up to a higher strength, it's gonna slough all over again, right? So I have a feeling this is the next year of my life that I'm really gonna have a lot of sloughing. Um, I just, I gotta do it. Because every single solitary person I know who has stuck with Retin-A for decades, their skin looks 20 years younger than most people their age. And it's because they just stuck with it. And it also forces you to get out of the sun. And now that Gracie's older, I really don't ever need to be in the sun in the summer. Maybe once in a blue moon, but you know, I wear a big hat and tons of sunscreen. Okay, I hope that helps. I just really wanted you to know how much I liked the Maybelline. I really liked it. You know what? I didn't put the Perfector on. We should put Perfector. I just really like the Maybelline products. Um, I know that they are not cruelty free, but I also know that they're working really hard on that with China. Everyone is working hard right now with China to try to change the laws. It's so interesting to me because, you know, China doesn't care about human rights, but they care about, you know, testing on animals to make sure that products are safe for people in their country. I just find that so ironic. But we're trying so hard as, as a nation to try to change the, the laws in China that they won't require animal testing to sell in their country. And I think we're getting close. I don't pretend to know a whole lot about animal cruelty rights, um, but I do know that Many, many, many companies are working really hard to change the Chinese law so that they don't have to test on animals because I don't think anyone wants to test on animals. I think it's just what they've always done and it's a way to, it's an inexpensive way to test. I really think personally we should test on um, convicts that hurt women, children, and animals. That's what I think we should test on. Um, but there's also really great testing in the lab just on, you know, cadaver skin and stuff like that. So we're getting there. We're getting there. So please don't come into the comments and tell me that Maybelline's not cruelty free. I know this. I do. But I also know these companies are trying to change all that because the, the, the direction of beauty is people want cruelty free. They want cleaner, safer ingredients and they want more sustainable packaging. Maybelline has a whole new line now. It's called their green line and it's in glass. And I'm gonna start researching that a little bit more, but th they're coming out with a clean and green line. And I saw it yesterday in Ulta and there weren't many pieces and I didn't have time to really delve into it, but this is the future. This is what companies want. This is why I love Mob Beauty. Um, this is why I love my saint because it all fits into one compact. So there's a little bit of waste, very little waste, um, easy to recycle. So I just think that's really the future of beauty, but I just could not wait to show everyone a full face of Maybelline and how affordable everything is. And you can buy it in pieces and look at that four in one perfector. There it is. You know me, I like my glow. I have zero powder on my face. I did not powder my face today like I did earlier in the video. So anyway, bye for now. Come back next week for my um, Korean skincare, just in time for Christmas, right? <sighs> bye for now.